Tonight, more of our investigation into the most common artificial turf that millions of American kids play on, made of ground-up tires. Last night, we told you about parents' fears it might possibly cause cancer and the federal government's failure to give any kind of guidance on whether this turf is dangerous or safe. It's leaving it up to local communities to decide. The result is confusion, concern, and we met a family who is pulling their kids out of sports altogether. Stephanie Gosk has our report. Go to the goal. John and Laura Dam pulled their boys from local sports. They would rather their kids not play at all than play on turf made with ground up car and truck tires. Fairfax County, just outside of Washington, D.C., has more than 80 crumb rubber fields. This is some of the only public grass. Right now, what we're saying is our kids are the guinea pigs, and they're the ones that are going to tell if it's safe or not, and we're not willing to let our kids be those guinea pigs. Last year, the dams watched our report on turf and heard soccer coach Amy Griffin ask the question, is crumb rubber turf causing cancer? The coach started keeping track of goalkeepers with cancer. Her list grew from 34 to 63 after our story aired. There are no scientific studies linking turf and cancer, but players and their families still worry those tiny black dots may be to blame. Crumb rubber is made with the same chemicals found in tires, some known carcinogens. We have a tire dump for our kids to play on. The dams started a petition to ban crumb rubber. 2,000 parents signed, but local leaders rejected the proposal after their extensive review of peer-reviewed studies concluded that these fields do not pose a serious public health concern. Just on the other side of the Potomac River, a quick ferry ride away, is Montgomery County, also a D.C. suburb, basically the same demographic, with quite a few concerned parents, but their solution is completely different. This is a turf field made not with tires, but with cork and coconut husks. On average, $40,000 more expensive than crumb rubber. Montgomery County is using this alternative from now on. Our residents let us know this made them nervous. And so we took it seriously and we don't want our parents nervous if we can avoid that. Since our story aired last year, at least 50 cities and towns in 17 states have been debating whether to tear up crumb rubber fields or install new ones. The EPA says this is a state and local decision, leaving officials on their own to sift through dozens of studies. How is Montgomery County going to assess the scientific data? We look to the federal government to give us guidance. In the absence of that, all we know is it's created a lot of anxiety. The EPA and the Consumer Product Safety Commission won't say crumb rubber is safe or dangerous, and both refused multiple requests for interviews. We tracked down the EPA administrator. Is crumb rubber turf safe for our children to play on? I'm sorry, I have nothing to say right now. But the result of the federal government's silence is a patchwork of local decisions, which the dams say is not the way to resolve an issue that affects children's health. The sad thing is people think, and this is often what I hear, it's like someone's looking out for us, right? They're putting them in all over the place, so it must be okay. And the reality is no one really is. We called the federal agencies again today. The CPSC told us that it is limited in what it can do without more money and legal authority from Congress. The EPA, which we've asked more than 10 times for an interview, says that it is, is assisting a study in California. The agency still will not answer this question, Lester. If more research is needed, why are children still playing on crumb rubber turf? People just want answers. Right. Absolutely. Stephanie, thanks for Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.